Alright guys, so here's what, what I'm thinking. I'm gonna make, this will be the first video that I make, um, this is like a strategies type video and see what we can do with it. Um, Alright guys, so let's see, this will be the first video that I make, um, just for private, just for like us three, and if, when we find a fourth, we can add that guy in, and he can watch the videos as well, but, um, just as like a little strategy video for the, you know, what we've talked about, the whole strategy for SND, so, I picked recovery to do the first one on, because it seems like everybody, we know that's Jacob's favorite map, but, um, this can be... You know, I think we all like this. We're we're not terrible at it, so I think if we put some strategy in, um, see what we can do with it. Maybe just make a test video real quick and see how you guys like it, and we'll see what we can do. Um, so first first video, I'm. Let's see here. What one of the biggest things? So for this um, for this map, here's the map layout right now. This is what you can see there's um, sentinel spawn, atlas spawn here and sentinel spawn, he spawn here alright so for recovery for this map um, atlas spawn here in the blue and sentinel spawn here in the red so red will be sentinel, blue will be atlas so this is a, th this first play that I kinda want to uh, look at is just I guess we can call this safety or we can call this like defending B or something I don't know maybe let's let's call this safety for now um, so what a lot of, there are times where you will have jump snipers over on that area jumping up trying to snipe get a first pick so if we can avoid that as much as we can that'd be awesome this this safety play is gonna is mainly to um, stop a B push, we're kind of leaving A a little bit more open. If we had four guys, it'd be easier. But I want to show you guys a little spot that I saw. If we have two guys rush over this way and get here as fast as we can, two guys right here. Now one one guy will be sitting kind of this way, okay? So he can see this area of the map. This area will be held down by this guy watching this view right here, okay? He can see anybody running out of Yellow Tunnel. We don't need to worry about Yellow Tunnel. Anybody pushing through there if this guy's sitting here. He can also see, you know, back there in case somebody loops around and comes that way. Or if he sees automatically bomb gets planted, he's jumping down and he can shoot and take that guy out. Um, and also if he's sitting there, he usually will not get taken out by guys coming through this way. Um just because he'll be sitting here watching and he'll be ready for that and if he does get taken out there we have this other guy ready to trade um, this guy's more of a safety guy he'll play a little bit more passive he'll wait around here while this other guy number two the second guy will be here okay now what he can do what I like to do you guys might have seen me do this before I don't know jump up and down here and look you can see mid map and you can see it pretty dang well. And usually I'll put mute on and I'll just sit here and I can see mid map if anybody wants to rush under yellow there or they want to take that cut and go mid to try to rush us, which, you know, that's one of my rush routes. So you can see that and you can call that out or you can see anybody coming through that mid cut area. Or if they're rushing on the back side going over around A, you can also see that. And if you just kind of sit here and jump, you can see mid-map. So you'd have one guy sitting right here, right? And he can see this area of the map, and then another guy jumping and watching mid-map. And then also, the only way he's... This, guy, this guy's got the flank, right? So there's no way that this guy jumping is going to get taken out from here unless this guy goes down. And if he does go down, this guy jumping will immediately be able to come and trade that kill. Um... The one the one weakness to this is if somebody does decide to jump up here, which is usually nobody ever does on this. They will never jump up here because there's almost always a sniper back there. We won't, I mean, maybe we'll play with a sniper back there, maybe not. But for this play, I'd, I'd just say 
we were okay here. We don't need a sniper back there. And usually if if you're going to be over here, we're going to see people rushing through yellow tunnel, which we have blocked by that guy. You can also see somebody running this way. And if he comes here and jumps up, he might be able to get a kill. But then again, this guy will be able to come and trade it pretty quickly. Um, if he rushes here, he rushes over this way, we immediately see him. If he rushes in this way, we see him. If somebody rushes through Yellow Tunnel and going right here, you can see him. Now that's also another part of um, what I like to call playing post, right? Where you kind of push up a little bit further on the map. You sit here, or you sit in a spot where people don't normally see you. They don't think you've pushed up that far. So if they are trying to rush you, you can see them and take them out. So this guy's more of a safety guy for this guy who's going to watch mid. Now, if a guy does jump in, come through that area, usually they're not going to expect you to be jumping like this, and you can usually have a pretty decently fair gunfight, and you'll probably be able to take him out. And if not, this guy sitting right here will not be seen, and if he does get taken out, you know, jump around the corner and trade that kill. So these guys are going to be watching each other's back. This guy almost has the whole entire B-bomb site locked down, and then this guy's watching mid and also there, and if someone, if one of, the, one of them gets killed, the other one will trade pretty easily because they're next to each other so close. You know, it might happen that this guy comes and gets a good kill and then maybe is able to pick up a two-piece, but that would be pretty rare. Um, and if it does, you know, we don't do that strategy again that game. But that leaves one more guy open. And now what I was thinking for that other guy is he could sit more this area okay he can sit more back here because we have yell we don't need to be sitting here sniping yellow tunnel okay i don't trust i mean maybe if one of us gets better at sniping we can snipe yellow tunnel but i would really rather not just because that guy's sitting there and when that guy's there if they're gonna come yellow tunnel they're gonna come yellow tunnel and that guy sitting up there is gonna pick him off pretty easily um the other thing is that a lot of times if somebody's gonna snipe yellow tunnel what they'll do is they'll come around here right with a sniper rifle they'll peek they'll try to look right they don't see anybody they might wait for a little bit and then they'll come back they won't even usually push out of yellow tunnel um, and if they do if they don't if they're peeking around here they don't see a sniper there's nobody there and they decide to push out BAM dead right there okay so we've got yellow tunnel pretty much locked down so we don't need anybody watching it if they decide to push through there they're dead if they decide to go up there they're dead if they decide to come around here they're dead so the only thing if this guy can kind of sit here in the bushes he won't be able to be seen very easily if somebody decides to rush mid that guy should be able to see him and call him out but if he doesn't this guy will still be able to watch and he'll still be able to watch over this way so this guy will be able to see this part of, or the guy up there will be able to see that this part of the map right which we said earlier the other guy jumping up and down will be able to see this part of the map and then uh, possibly a little bit of this and then this third guy sitting right here is able to see this part of the map so there's really no way that B I mean with three guys there's no way that B should be um, planted without us knowing so this can be called safety we can kind of sit back and wait for them to make a play right we have a guy here this guy right here does not need to worry about anything going on right there he can turn all of his focus right in this area if somebody decides to jump up there he's got him right there if somebody full flanks us and comes around this way he's sitting in the bushes waiting for him you know if he decides to jump or whatever Okay, so that's a pretty easy play. He, this guy right here, because of those two guys up there, don't need to worry at all. Now, if we're call, if, if that guy decides, you know, to rush mid, and we hear somebody call out mid, the guy jumping, he, this guy can come up and make that kill, or he can sit back and wait to see what he does. Um, if he does decide to rush mid, one of their guys decides to rush mid, maybe go this way, that guy's still going to be able to see up top there. And he'll be able to call that out. Now, if this is the other thing, we can call this safety, right? Um, and we can use this as a safety play, 
Or we can use it just as, you know, if they're defending B or B a lot, we can, you know, defend B. That can be our defending B play. Um, now, a lot of times, if if we're playing a GB, a lot of the guys, well, the guys are communicating, right? If we're playing ranked play, a lot of the guys are just kind of running around doing their own thing. So not a whole, I mean, there it will be, if we're playing ranked, it will be very, very rare to see every single person go A. So this is a really good play for ranked because ne there's almost never somebody that doesn't go B, right? Because usually they'll usually everybody's doing their own thing. Um, if if we see that there's it's another clan we're playing, another team we're playing, well then that's a different story. But I think this is a good play for ranked especially. And if we see him playing B a lot or we're down a couple rounds and we need a round, let's play. You know we can throw safety in, get our two guys up there, one guy here and just see what we can do. Now, if we notice after like a minute or something um, that all of a sudden we're not seeing anybody, this whole entire side of the map is clear, there's nobody here, then then, then we need to do something. And that's when I think we start a rotation towards, towards A. Now with this guy, what I would like this guy to do is kind of, you know, come here, make sure there's nobody there. You know, there might be somebody sitting right there which would be a pretty common spot. Somebody will sit in that corner right there, and they'll wait. Um, so if you want to try to look out, look there, you can if you can call them out. But be careful about somebody full flanking this way, or be or waiting on the other side there. Because if we haven't seen anybody yet, or we know they planted A, if all of a sudden they planted A and we're like, shit, we got to get over there. This guy should play a little bit slower, and maybe come around here. And try, you know, look around, see what he can do. And maybe try to get into a position here where he can kind of glance over. Maybe they're up there waiting for it, whatever. However, if this guy can play a little bit slower and wait for those two guys over there to make a move first, which I'll show you in a minute, I think we'll be good. If he can play a little slower, you know, clear his way out from here, back around here, and just wait a little bit. Maybe not even push so far out, out here yet before he can even see A. Just play it slow and wait to get into a position. Now, most of the time somebody's going to go down first. Um, one of them will go down because not every single person's going to go A, mo mostly. And usually if they do decide to do an A push, usually they have at least one person try to rush and flank. And like I said, we have this, we have the whole entire map locked down. Um, so what I would like these two guys to do is come through here both of them will be together make sure there's nobody up in this area and then I'd say because we have that guy sitting in the bushes over there watching mid it would be a lot easier for them to come around this way and drop down here into mid because we've already had this place scouted and then try to push that way and then this way instead of jumping around here and looking around because we have no idea about this side of the map, right? We have no clue. They could be sitting there, there, they could all be under there, they could be around the bomb site, they could be sitting in that corner or that corner or, you know, one of them could be laying down here, we wouldn't see them, you know, there's so many things that we have no idea. We're, safety is more of a play to watch B and watch this side of the map rather than this side. We're almost never going to know what's over on this side of the map. So, if if A or if A was planted, then this guy I would much rather have him have both of these guys come through here, try not to be seen and pop down this way instead. Now we just need to be careful about guys camping in this corner, right? This corner Sometimes they'll even sit here and maybe watch this way. You know, we gotta check our corners when we pop down there. But we'll have two guys here, and if somebody goes down, usually we can trade a kill. But if both of those guys are here, this is pretty wide open. Okay, I don't usually like running through here unless both of us rush this way. One of us take, you know, one of us takes left and the other one takes right. And a lot of times they'll be sitting back there, they'll be over here, you know, wherever they're going to be. Some of them push up that way. But, however, right, we still have that other guy that's playing pretty slow. If he doesn't get spotted, 
then he's still playing slow and he's still there ready to come around in case anybody's over here will once we push through one way or the other then that guy over there will be called out and the guy playing slower will be able to pick him up so I prefer us either going this way and both of us saying all right you know if it's me, you know, say it's me and Jacob, you know, Jacob, you take right, I'll take left, right? We jump around, we see if anybody's there, we try to make a pick. Um, but that is if nobody is seen yet, okay? Maybe both of us go this way, maybe, and, you know, maybe try to loop around here more. See, there's nobody back there, and then we kind of head glitch this spot. See if anybody's over this way, and we just kind of continue around here. I would like one person to try to check through Atrium, because a lot of times they'll, you know, kind of sit here in Atrium and watch out. So if one person can flank around, you know, be careful again, because we don't know if somebody's going to be sitting here trying to watch Bomb from there, right? That's a pretty common spot. So be careful. We don't know anything about this side of the map. So it's much easier just to come around here, make sure nobody's up there, drop down, check your corners, right? Come through and come around this way instead. And then start a head glitch, pop around, come through atrium. The other guy could be either coming this way. I would prefer him to kind of hug this wall a little more. Make sure we pop out. Wait for that guy around Atrium to kind of clear that spot out for you a little more. Make sure that corner's good. Once you step out, once you can see this corner, you're vulnerable back there. So be careful. If you want to, I mean, if you hug this wall, you can probably see a little better. But, we'll, but that's kind of up to, up to the guy doing here, however he wants to push. Now, if he goes down, he should be able to call out where guys are so that this guy running over here through atrium you know if he gets killed from one of the corners we'll be able to say hey he's sitting in a corner there okay pop out kill him there if this guy still doesn't see anybody I want him to come down here okay I don't want you I don't want this guy to push out more I'd rather have him come down here if he can call out anybody call him out if not push through and see what's going on over on this side of the map okay so once that guy, once we start to get into gunfights over there, those those two guys, this guy playing slow over on A will be able to kind of come over here and once he's playing slow, you know, say there was a guy sitting here maybe, watching over here, maybe, there's, maybe he's sitting here, maybe he's back here on this rock, maybe he took my spot and he's sitting and watching through there, right? This guy playing slow, as soon as we get in gunfights over there, if there were, was a guy over here or two guys over here, their attention is going to be immediately over here. Because they're going to hear gunshots or whatever, they're going to see it on the minimap, or their teammates are going to call it out to them, and they're going to be watching this way instead of watching the guy playing slow. So once we start to get into gunfights, you know, and we start to call people out, that's this guy's signal to be like, okay, nobody there, nobody there, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, okay, gunfights, I'm calling people out, then you can peek, then go around this way, and see if you can get into a position right about here around this rock, and then wait, okay, and then it's pretty much just all about communication from there on out, as soon as gunfights start to go down, it's all about communication, we can set up, you know, as much as we want with our two guys there, our one guy there, make sure they don't get a B push. Hopefully get some kills. If they, if we force them to go A, and they decide to go A, we do that little play. We have one guy playing slow, two guys going there. Communication with those two is going to be more important than anything because they're going to have to decide, hey, are we going to both push through there? Are we both going to go around Atrium? Are we going to split up? And if we do, if, if one of us goes down, how are we going to play this? You know, one of us gets into a gunfight and the other one... It doesn't, the, you know, the guy that gets into a gunfight and is like, hey, you know, I killed this guy, but they know where I am now. They don't know where this guy is. They don't know where this guy is. It's all about communication from that point on. So, if this guy can get into a position here, then we're good. You know, nine times out of ten, it's not going to get that far, right? Nine times out of ten, we're going to start pushing through here, and we're going to start pushing through there. Gunfights are going to go down, and, you know, this guy that's playing a little slower is gonna you know come around here he'll probably pick up one or two kills 
you know, most likely one kill from, you know, somebody maybe sitting over here or whatever, waiting um, for a guy over here. All of a sudden he hears gunshots, he pops out here. Then this guy playing slow is able to come and pick him up. So, um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. I guess we can call that safety. Um, let me know what you guys think. I feel like this is a bit of a long video, but, um, yeah, let me know what you think about this. Um, if you want to modify anything, let me know, um, when, we're, when we talk later. Um, yeah, if you, if you want me to make more strategy videos, there's a, you know, there's, we could probably do a lot more with this. I just feel like this is a bit of a long video. I talked quite a bit on this. <laughs> so, um, we can call that safety if we ever get into a, into trouble. If we want to try it out in a ranked match pretty soon, we can do that. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, I, I'm interested to see what would work. And, you know, if we're playing ranked play, we're going to have a fourth guy. That fourth guy is going to do whatever the fuck he's going to do. If he's going to run around and, you know, get a couple kills, awesome. Makes it makes our job pretty easy. Um, if we decide to do a 3v3 GB, well then, you know, it's the three of us. If, that, if, if our random player is running around not doing anything... It still doesn't matter. I mean, it's going to be a three v four. We're going to be sitting. We're going to be sitting in our spots, and we're going to. We need to make sure we communicate. The three of us, you know, we'll be fine. Um, so yeah, we can call that safety, or you know, B, protecting B. Um, but yeah, if if you guys like this video, if it kind of helped, if you think you want me to make more, um, let me know. I could probably make um, a video or two to defend. A, I can also make videos to, um, I can also make videos to, you know, how to attack from the offense, from the sentinel side. I can find out, um, you know, what are we going to do for, what, for, what are we going to do for a B push, you know? One of my favorite routes in the whole game is to come up here before anybody's able to get up there and start sniping. I get around here. If somebody's sniping Yellow Tunnel, he won't see me running through here. And, you know, you pick them off and you can just continue to rotate and you're and within three seconds. You know, you saw me do that in Jacob. I showed you the one video of my almost four piece, or my almost ace. What did I do? I pretty much went exactly here, got one kill there, rushed all the way through, you know, saw two, picked up one, went around, you know, saw the other guy and I just, you know. So that's, you know, but... Say somebody were to do that rush route against us. Come through this way and try to get into B like I did. What's going to happen? This guy right here is going to be able to see him. He's going to pick him up, jump down, pick him up pretty easily. So, yeah. Long, long, long commentary, I guess. But yeah, it will see, see, how, see how it works. Maybe we'll try it. See what happens if you guys want me to do more. Um, we'll do more if we want to talk about a strategy. Um, you know, let's, we could do that in a private match. If you guys wanted to run through this with bots a couple times, just to kind of see before we go into a, pub, a public match, I think that'd be cool. Um, do that. Maybe if you guys have a different strategy, we can talk about it. I'll make a video real quick, just so everybody's on the same page and see what we can do. So this is quite a long video, but, um, yeah, it was actually kind of fun to make. I like, listen, I like thinking through these things, so, um, let me know.